due to a series of unfortunate events, not caused by me of course, this is when you loan your ATV out. Um, we got some broken plastic here that we're going to be patching. I do have the pieces, so I'm going to show you how to patch it. And we're going to patch it with zip ties. So we've got a crack up here in the front. Someone went over a log and knocked out a chunk of plastic here. We also have one back here. I'm not sure how that happened. So first thing we want to do is clean it off so we can get our pieces put together. Show you how to stick the pieces in. Fortunately we found most of the pieces so we need those and I got some zip ties here. So we're just going to zip tie it together. Alright, once you've got it washed up, you can pull it in to wherever you want to work on it. And then just go through your pieces, if you still have them, and just check to make sure where they go. So we've got this one here. I have a teeny little piece here. I've got this one here in the front. And we have a little one there. And our last one here, right there on the corner. So we do have all our pieces. All right, so I'm gonna grab my piece and a Sharpie. I'm gonna hold it up here. And then I'm just gonna go along. On either side of this crack, I'm gonna make a dot for where I drill my hole. And then I'll come back and drill those holes in. And those holes hold together with zip ties so we're gonna do one there pretty much you want to have them at each corner at the very ends and then you can just fill in a few on the insides and we're gonna have a bunch in here with this little piece so Come back to that one. Now this crack is starting here, so we want to put one there. And then, of course, more here at the corner. So we'll start with that and drill those holes out. All right, so what I did was got the zip tie, and then I'm going to get a bit that is slightly larger than the zip tie to drill my holes with, so it will slide through the hole easily. And you just attach that to your drill. And then on each of those dots that we made, we're going to drill this out. Alright, then we're going to take this piece here that we marked, and we're going to drill that too. I'm doing them just about a quarter inch from the edge, probably closer to the edge than that, maybe three sixteenths. You want to get it pretty close, but you don't want it too close to where it tears through. Alright, so we've got this piece just about done. So there you can see our holes line up here with each other. So now this crack here is a little off, so I'm going to see if I can pop that back. There we go. Now I want to put one there. You're going to stick it through the back into that hole there and then back over the top and then just zip tie it through in the back. Then just pull that tight in there and then once we get all these done we'll come back with uh, wire clippers and I'll show you how to trim them down. Alright, we have this little piece here. It goes right in here. So I'm going to mark that one. And then drill that out. So I want to put on this piece before I get to that big piece. Now we can go ahead and zip tie this in. We're going to come through from the back. 
stick it from the front and then connect it on the through the zip tie in the back. And make sure you get these tight. So stick it through the back. You gotta find the hole. There it is. Back through the front. And then through the zip tie. Alright, so that's our first little piece there. That gives you an idea of what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and time lapse the rest of this. And then we'll move on to the front where we have a little bit of an angle here to do. It's going to be a little different. Then you'll just come back to the back and snip off the ends. You can see we've got all these on and it's actually pretty sturdy. I'm yanking on it. If you see any movement, you might want to tighten them up or add another one next to it. So, this looks pretty good. All right, the last thing you're gonna do here is snipping off all these tails. So you just get in here with a wire, wire cutters or you can get in here with a knife. Wire cutters are pretty easy though. And then just snip off the ends. And then you'll have a nice cleaned up area like that. So we're gonna stick this one on here and we'll finish this up here. All right, now that we have the front piece stuck together, we can line it up here. So we can mark the holes. All right, so this plastic piece here is gonna be a little tricky, but I'm gonna see if I can sneak one down here. to get these started and then pull it tight there we go we snuck them through there all right now we can get this piece lined up I'm gonna stick a few more in here just to hold it together for me all right then we'll just clip these off with our wire clippers All right, there we go. We got the front on, got the back on, and these are pretty sturdy. Once you've got them all zip tied down, they aren't gonna go anywhere. This one feels just like it's a part of the plastic now. Now there is another way to do this. You melt the plastic together, but it never looks good. The zip ties gives it okay look, I think. I've done this before and it blends in when you're farther away especially since I got black zip ties overall I spent two or three dollars at most for the zip ties and about 30 minutes of time drill the holes put them in zip them down and you're good hope you found this video helpful I'll see you in the next one